is up everybody this is Alex from Tech Labs and in that video I will show you why you should update to the iOS 9.3 beta 6 uh, so in the previous videos I've shown you what has changed in this framework so if you haven't seen this video you may check it out in here and also the link will be in the description but in that video we're gonna uh, take a look at my iPad 4 and the performance of this iOS uh, 9.3 beta 6 so let's get started well the first thing that I'll show you guys is opening applications so as you can see here I have no application running at this time and we can uh, proceed to opening those applications so let's open camera first and you will see why this framework is the fastest look at that look at that it was like on the iPhone 6 or yeah the camera obviously is running you see like it was so fast opening I can do this one more time to you guys just look at that it is so fast this is an iPad 4 here I thought that this iPad will not longer be supported and it will be just a rubbish it's just rubbish thing and I will throw it away or sell it but look at that the performance is so good um it is so great I'm I mean Guys, I have no words to say, really. I'm so excited about it. Finally, thanks Apple for making this happen, for fixing all those problems with laggy, laggings on the iPhone, on the iPad. And yeah, so thanks to Apple. Let's open Safari also here. Or sorry, settings. Yeah, settings wasn't really nice, but we can open this for the second time. Yeah, so um, basically the same. Uh, maybe uh, it's opening a bit faster, but anyway, let's go to Safari right now and I will show you opening some Yeah, let's close this thing. Yeah, and open a new uh, Website, let's head out to which one which uh, apple.com. Let's see apple.com and Yeah, so loading is takes a bit but still it is fine I don't think that the I iPad is the main problem of that but anyway I will show you uh, the process of opening new tabs opening yeah like that so you open lots of them and you see that yeah a few hiccups there but uh, keep in mind that this is an iPad 4 and anyway it's performing uh, really nicely I have no regrets of updating to this framework. Let's also open some maybe clock. Yeah, so the clock wasn't really fast. Let's uh, also open App Store. This is gonna be really fast. You saw how those icons popped out and it's so fast. I'm so excited guys. iTunes Store the same really really fast. Um, let's go to the maps. Yeah, so I mean the main point here guys that this iPad is finally usable I couldn't use this iPad at all it was so laggy in the previous iOS 9.3 beta 5 but in iOS 9.3 beta 6 it has changed completely so the performance is totally different so update to this firmware so the next thing that I'd like to show you guys is a Geekbench score I'm not sure if it's gonna be true Geekbench score or uh, maybe it will not change at all but Anyway, we will see it. Just let, give me a moment before I do it. I just want to close all of these uh, tabs that I opened here. Just, yeah, because all of these tabs, they actually eat so much RAM. Uh, especially if you have all of the websites opened. So we can close the Safari and we can go to the Geekbench. Yeah, here we have Geekbench. Let's see. Yeah, the only one application running. We go to the processor benchmark and it's running. So let's wait a couple of seconds and I'll show you the result. So as you see here, guys, it's probably worse result than the, the previous iOS beta version. But still, I don't remember actually what do we have in the previous, let's see, previous benchmarks. So yeah, this is a bit worse. So let's see, uh, 770 and here we have 771 but um, yeah so the single core we can see that it's uh, increased a bit on only on one point but doesn't actually affect so much but the multi-core is actually uh, is down by 16 points 
Anyway guys, that's not a huge problem here. I can definitely tell that the iPad feels more alive. I showed you how I can open those applications. I can open them one more time and it's gonna be much faster, but I think the main problem of the calendar opening was because I had lots of tabs in the Safari browser. But anyway guys, that's it for now. That's all I wanted to show you just today because this iPad is now alive. I'm saying, saying this for the third time and I'm so excited. Like, finally Apple, you you can hear your customers. I thought, no, I thought you're not able to hear them, but I'm so excited about this new firmware. Please, Apple, make another firmware that is gonna be even faster, even more optimized, and we count on you, Apple. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you wanna see any of my other videos, please go to my channel and see all of them. We, I have some play playlists of the iOS, uh, iOS videos as well as Android, so if you're interested in Android, you may check them out as well. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my channel uh, to support me and also give this uh, video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. And yeah, so that's it for now, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.